So apparently I've been tagged my favorite horror films from the 10 different horror subgenres. All right, let's do this. Hey everybody, Ken here and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel. This is going to be a little bit of a different type of video. I've never been tagged before on YouTube, or if I was, um, I certainly didn't know it. Apparently David's Whore um, over on his YouTube channel, which I can link all of that in the description below, tagged me in a horror subgenre. Uh, my 10 favorite films from 10 different horror subgenres. And I actually liked this idea so much because it's not really like me to take part in like tags and things like that. I always appreciate being tagged, uh, but I, I almost never have the time to actually do it. But I liked this idea so much that I, I ended up saying the hell with it. I'm going to do this video. And there's some people that I would like to tag as well. So I'm going to take you up on this offer, David's Whore. And I'm going to share with you guys today uh, my favorite horror films from the 10 different horror genres or the subgenres of horror. So uh, this to kind of let you guys know what these subgenres are that we're going to be discussing today because some of you all may not be familiar um, with this unless you're deep within the horror community. You might just be like, horror is horror, it's all the same, right? Well, no, there's actually various amounts of different subgenres. Uh, within the horror genre that you can kind of pick out and identify by their distinct characteristics. So the first one that we're going to do is torture, then it's found footage, foreign horror, sci-fi horror, vampire, werewolf, zombie, slasher, paranormal, and home invasion. And there's actually some other ones that I can think of uh, that were not added to this that I'm not going to add because I'm going to stick within the guidelines of the tag. Before I get into this guys, I want to ask that if you are not yet a subscriber of the Mid-Level Media channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I do all kinds of great content on this channel, mostly centered around the world of physical media, movies, entertainment, um, and we're definitely going to be focusing still on physical media in this video because most of my movies uh, that I pick for these different categories I love and I own on DVD or Blu-ray in one form or another. So, uh, but yeah, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, like this video, guys. Every single like will help these videos move up those YouTube algorithms and also be sure to comment down below your favorites for each one of these sub genres. I would definitely appreciate that and would definitely love to hear everybody's different picks. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys, because we've got 10 movies to talk about and uh, I'm ready to get into it because I'm kind of excited about this. So uh, the first one that we're going to talk about, guys, is the torture uh, genre of horror, and that is the first uh, pick. So um, I'm not a huge fan of this genre. There's two notable franchises that are like top of the food chain of the torture genre, but I've, I've vocally stated before that the 2000s is like the worst decade in horror for me, uh, 2000 to 2009, and I, I would say because of the rise of the torture uh, subgenre of horror, I just really wasn't into that. And then you had a bunch of remakes too, and uh, it just wasn't a good decade for horror. So it would be an easy pick to say Saw, but when I thought about it, um, I do like some of those movies, but when I thought about it, the first Saw is really only iconic because of that ending. I don't think it's an actual good film. The one I'm going to show you guys, I think it's a pretty good movie. I, I, I don't love it. Uh, it's not one of my favorites of all time, but I actually remember being pretty disturbed by it when I saw it in theaters, a little bit more so than Saul, um, and that is Hostel. Eli Roth's Hostel. Uh, Quentin Tarantino presents. I remember at the time, actually, back then, I thought that Quentin Tarantino actually wrote and directed because all I saw was his name when I went to see it in theaters. It wasn't until later on um, that I discovered that uh, who Eli Roth was and everything. So I enjoyed this movie in the theaters. I thought it was kind of creepy, very disturbing, um, and it felt different. And I liked the way they told the story, at least, um, better than Saul. Saul, to me, is not a very good movie for pretty much the whole thing and then it has a 
freaking mind-blowing twist that just kind of recontextualizes the film. And then, of course, it goes on and has all of its sequels. Some of them are good, decent movies, but most of them are crap to me. I just, I'm not a huge fan of that franchise. Again, I want to go back and rewatch some of them. I bought the collection, but uh, they don't hold up uh, very good to me. So the first hostel, even the second hostel, I think, is pretty good. This is actually a movie to me. It feels like a film uh, when I watch it, just the way it's shot and directed it. So I'll say Hostel is my favorite of the torture genre or subgenre. So let's get into the next one, guys. I'm actually really excited to talk about this. This is found footage because I'm a huge fan of the found footage genre. I, I love a lot of movies in this uh, um, in this genre, and I know a lot of people when they hear found footage, you know, it's like a cheap cash grab. People because there were so many of these movies that came out after, pretty much after the movie I'm getting ready to discuss. So, um, and they were all, you know, some of them were poorly made, some of them were very well done. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of the genre. I'm kind of a sucker for it. There's a lot of them that I love. They're honestly the movies that creep me out the most when I watch horror movies. Um, just watched one recently, Host. Like, that's one of the scariest movies I've seen like the past three years. Let's get into my pick, and it's Paranormal Activity. I know that some of you might have thought I would have brought up Blair Witch, because it's the one that really kind of started it all. But then after Blair Witch came out, it kind of died out for a little bit. And it wasn't until this came out that the uh, found footage genre really just shot um, into the mainstream of horror, like and everybody was trying to do the next Paranormal Activity. Um, and yeah, Paranormal Activity is great. It's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. I might even put it in my top 10, maybe my top five. Probably not my top five, but definitely in my top 10. It is my second favorite horror film of the entire 21st century behind The Witch. I absolutely love it. Um, this film and I know some people might roll their eyes at that this movie it just feels extremely real it just feels like you are there in that moment and it is just creepy as hell the way that they tell the story and uh, I absolutely love it it scares me I, I, that's all I can say and I like to be scared that's why I watch horror so yeah I, I love this movie I think it's fantastic I love the part two I love three after that it gets a little hit or miss for me but I think I actually think the first three paranormal activity movies is a perfect horror trilogy so um, and this is an awesome slipcover these are like Walmart exclusives that came out a couple years ago so paranormal activity is my favorite found footage movie so let's go ahead and roll into the foreign horror uh, category and this one I actually had a little bit of trouble picking out um, I went with Suspiria and some people might not think this is a foreign horror movie and I understand that which is why I have a backup choice um, just in case there's anybody that says that but this is this is dubbed in English but all of the actors and performances are speaking in different languages so I don't whether or not you want to count that as foreign horror I don't know I looked it up on Google like the best foreign horror movies this one came up, so I don't know. I love Suspiria. I love it more and more every time I watch it. So this would be my pick for foreign horror. If you would consider it to be foreign horror. If you don't, I have a backup choice and it's high tension. So I'm kind of playing off of what David's horror did because I know he picked this one. Um, watched this a couple of years ago. Blew me away. I love this movie. Extremely gory, grotesque. Um, with a really cool twist that happens like uh, about 50% of the way through the movie. So I enjoyed this one quite a bit. So this is my backup choice for foreign horror is high tension. So let's go ahead and go into sci-fi horror guys. And this is, this one was kind of tough for me, but not really because we're coming off of Event Horizon that Screen Factory said that just came out. So it's hard for me to not want to pick that because I'm excited about the movie again since I just recently watched it. But it's, it's really tough not to go alien for this category because this is like the one that started it all. So I love Alien. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's in my top 50 movies of all time. So uh, yeah, it's it's tough. it's a generic answer, but it's the best sci-fi horror film of all time in my opinion. So in um, this 4K, freaking awesome transfer. Um, so let's go ahead and get into uh, Vampire. So Vampire actually don't have a physical media release of it so I've heard rumors that it's going to be coming to 4k in 2021 so hopefully I will get it soon but I really just need to go ahead and get the blu-ray because it is my favorite vampire movie it is in my top 50 movies of all time it is from dusk till dawn I absolutely adore this movie I have since I was a kid I think I watched this movie for the first time when I was like 12 it's just 
it, it's just one it has all the the quentin tarantino isms of it just how the story's told in the first half and then it just turns into this straight up monster horror vampire movie in the last half just has this complete shift in genres and it's just so unique the way they kind of lay out and structure this movie it's great performances in this movie george clooney gives his best performance of his entire career in my opinion i just think his character is so cool and charismatic absolutely love him in this you got harvey Keitel, um juliette lewis just a great cast selma hayek in this movie like she blew my mind 13 year old me did not know what i was looking at uh was selma hayek at the time so from Dust Till Dawn, one of my favorites of all time. Absolutely love it. So that's my vampire pick. As for the werewolf pick, guys, I was never really a big werewolf fan, so I kind of missed a lot of the big ones. Um, I only recently saw The Howling. So the reason I wasn't the biggest werewolf fan is because, to be honest, werewolves kind of scared me. And it was because I saw this movie when I was like six years old, American Werewolf in London. So I watched this movie when I was six, and I'm like, I'm done with werewolf movies. And just something in my mind, every time a werewolf movie was brought up, I couldn't watch it. I just didn't want to, I didn't want any part of it. Um, and I, I convinced myself for a long time that I just, I just didn't want to watch it because werewolves are stupid or whatever. But it was really because there was something going on in my brain as far as being scared um, of those uh, monsters. So I got this Arrow release uh, a couple of years ago. Watched this movie for the first time since I was six. Um, or seven or eight. I can't remember how old I was. I was very young when I watched it for the first time. Um, this is such a great movie. Like, it's just such a, it blew me away. Instantly went into my top 50 of all time. A great horror uh, movie that's really scary and also super funny as well. It just plays both sides and you got John Landis, just the perfect director for this movie. Um, great visuals, great effects, the transformation sequence. Everybody talks about it. Everybody knows about it absolutely phenomenal work and yeah i love this release by arrow video american werewolf in london is definitely the best so getting into zombie um i just watched the movie zombie last week so um i was kind of conflicted in this answer but i think that uh, maybe i need to see zombie one more time or something because I, I just can't put it as my favorite just yet, even though I might have said that in the video, but I'm still going to go Dawn of the Dead, the remake, not the original Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead. The first movie where I was actually scared of zombies, just the way they moved, the way they ran. Um, absolutely freaked out by this movie, and it's just a freaking awesome zombie film uh, by Zack Snyder. It's my favorite Zack Snyder movie as well. So Dawn of the Dead, the remake uh, from 2004 is my favorite zombie flick. So moving on to best slasher so many choices and for years maybe a decade um i've always loved horror slasher was just my genre my sub genre was horror it's my favorite movies uh, were the old 80s 90s slasher films um and you just you, you can't not say halloween it's again it's, it's like alien um another basic answer everybody would have this as their answer but it's just, it's in my top 10 of all time. I absolutely love Halloween, so you gotta say Halloween. If I was to have to pick uh, a second choice, Scream uh, would probably be my second choice. But yeah, Halloween, it's a phenomenal film. What what can I say? It's the best slasher of all time, Halloween. Um, paranormal, so paranormal ghost story movie. This can mean multiple different things. There's many routes that you could take here. Um, but at the end of the day, you could call this psychological, um, but I think it's a ghost story. I think it's very clearly, um, by the time you get to the third act of this movie, I think it's very clearly a ghost story. And that is, uh, Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. So this is in my top 10 of all time. It's my second favorite horror film of all time. So absolutely love this movie. And yeah, I would call this a ghost story. I think that this qualifies. Um, and yeah, some of the best performances of all time, Jack Nicholson just steals the show, but also Shelley Duvall is absolutely phenomenal. It's just, it's just one of my favorite movies of all time. Absolutely love it. And this, uh, 4k cover is freaking incredible. So the shining is my favorite paranormal movie of all time. So let's go into home invasion. Um, and whenever I think of home invasion now, I always think of this movie. It's one of my favorite horror movies from the past, I don't know, 10 years. Uh, directed by one of my favorite new up-and-coming directors, if you want to still call him that. He got his big budget break recently with Kong vs. Godzilla 
and uh, it's your next from 2013. Absolutely phenomenal home invasion thriller um, with some of the best like kills and just one of the more awesome badass female characters of all time. Um, the character in this movie, and I can't even remember her name, um, but the actress's name is Sharni Vissen. I think I'm saying that right. Um, I have no idea why she's in, not in more movies. She's so good in this. One of my favorite female characters of all time. I'd probably put her in my top three. Up there with like Ripley and the Bride. Like she, one of the best female characters of all time. Hands down. She's so badass in this movie. Absolutely love it. So yeah, you're next. Hell of a surprise when this movie came out. I was not expecting it to be as good as it was. So absolutely love you're next and that is my pick for best home invasion movie so as for who i am tagging in this video i'm gonna tag some people that uh, i'm pretty sure are, are big horror fans and can maybe complete this list uh the first person that i'm going to tag is the commissioner of the movie collection battle week that is 4k corner so i will leave his link down in the description as well. The next person that I'm going to tag is a new up and coming YouTuber who unwraps those movies and is a big horror fan. So I'm pretty sure he can complete this as well. That is unwrap the movies. I will leave his links down below as well. And then we've got Tony over at Basement Blues. I'm going to tag him in this as well. And then uh, I'm gonna go M for movies because I'm pretty sure he has a lot of these different subgenres, and I know he's a big horror fan as well. So um, those four people I will tag. I will leave all of their links down below so you guys can check them out if you haven't already. So there you have it, guys. Those are 10 of my favorites from 10 different horror subgenres. I wanna thank David's Horror for tagging me in this because this was super fun and a really cool video to make. And also be sure to like this video, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications. Comment down below your 10 favorites, and we'll see you next time.